Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633 and today I'm bringing a review of the Star Wars The Force Awakens Blade Builders Luke Skywalker Electronic Lightsaber. Now, while the box doesn't specifically state it's from Force Awakens, this is still a part of the Force Awakens toy line since they've implemented the new system of Blade Builders, which I initially reviewed starting with the Kylo Ren lightsaber. Now I got this lightsaber since I recently been rewatching the original films and I never actually owned any form of Luke's lightsaber. So I decided I was going to go with the latest rendition of said lightsaber. Anyways, when you get it from the box is the lightsaber itself and the adapter. This adapter is used obviously just like the Kylo Ren one with any of the lightsaber released in the line pretty much as long as they have the Blade Builders logo on the box. Anyways, we'll take a look at the box quickly. It is in just the standard type of box where you've seen a lightsaber, except it's in a standing position. The last couple of years I've seen them in this kind of position and so on. So we decided to go back to the standing position, I guess. Decided to show us a picture of Mark Hamill or Luke. Same thing here too. Shows it can interact with the Blade Builder system, including the Stuff that's released within the Giant Blade Builders, technically what you can consider an expansion pack, but it's called the Jedi Master Lightsaber Set. On the back it shows that this lightsaber, just like the Kylo Ren pretty much, goes to 21 inches, which is just under about 2 feet long. But obviously that doesn't include the actual hilt though, just the blade. Anyways, Here's the lightsaber itself. Now this takes three AAA batteries and it's really light for a lightsaber that I've ever seen. I really like the light feeling of this lightsaber since a lot of the lightsabers are just overly bulky and it just kind of doesn't really feel that well and it's kind of ridiculous sometimes when it comes to lightsabers. So this has a really nice feeling in hand. The only problem is, as you can see, it's rather small. Well, here's not the worst. Down here it's where it becomes a little problematic for an adult hand. Now I wish it had a little bit more length and it's kind of weird that it does have the Blade Builders uh, port there, but it's not the worst I've seen. It works well for what it does. Here it is unextended, so now here it is fully extended, which I'll now show here. Hopefully it gets much better in camera here. And now we're gonna start it up by pressing the button here. Now, it is light up, and it's a bit sensitive for some reason of mine, so, as you can see, just moving it just slightly causes it to go berserk. But anyways, we're going to turn it off, and then dim the lights so that we can go ahead and show the lights in hand. So, here we go. As you can see, it's got a very nice green light that works really well, and it's still interesting that it has the whole hole at the top here. I didn't mention this in the Color Ren lightsaber, but for some reason they decided to not really fill up the end, so it's got this interesting glow that has to appear at the end of the blade. So that's really cool. It does still have the hit sound, so here we go. Which for some reason it wasn't activating, so I'm doing here. So yeah. So you can see it's still pretty good in hit detection, so that's good. But at least it allows that. Anyways, we'll turn back on the lights so that we we'll take a better look at the lightsaber. So anyways, we're going to turn the other light on. Let's see. Here we go. So now, we're going to take a little look of it attached to another lightsaber. Now, the only other lights that we have in the Blade Builder sign, obviously, is the Kylo Ren lightsaber. So here we go. I'm just going to extend this outward so we got the full look of the Kylo Ren one. And here, we're going to twist the attachment at the bottom. And you kind of need to fiddle around with it in order to get the attachment in. We're going to just use the green one here. Then we're going to... Attach the Luke lightsaber as well, like so. There you have this really long lightsaber that hopefully gets into frame eventually. I need to slide it down just a bit in order to get into frame. So unfortunately there isn't a real way to kind of get this in camera properly. But just to show, we're going to take a look at the lights off again. So here we go. We're going to turn on them. And the secondary light. So you can see, you can actually activate both lights at the same time if you wish when it comes to lightsabers. So, 
it's pretty cool that it allows you to do that. And unfortunately, there isn't a way to really get it on camera without it having problems. So, there you go. Pretty much get the main idea. Turn this off. And now, we're going to disconnect it. And the adapter. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this lightsaber. And while the length itself isn't the best, I've seen better length lightsabers. I think the hilt does help quite a bit in terms of a lightsaber toy. Now, for a kid, I think this is definitely a really cool lightsaber. For collectors, I'm pretty sure some might stay away from it just because of the fact it doesn't fully collapse like lightsaber should. And at the same time, it is a bit on the short side, especially with the handle and so on. And I know some other collectors might just not like the empty port, then it would have been cool to actually have some kind of adapter to close it off. So we're just going to put this here. But other than that, I still think this is definitely a really cool lightsaber. Even for the $20 price, which the electronic lightsabers go for, I think this is still a rather impressive one for what it does. Kids will definitely enjoy this, especially fans of those Star Wars altogether. And I think this is a pretty cool rendition of the lightsaber. Now, I might actually get the non-electronic one just because I would like to have a version of the Luke lightsaber that has an ability to collapse. So... I do have to admit that they did pretty good this time in order to make the lightsabers and without all those annoying switches and everything like some of the older ones had, they still have a way to keep the actual end of the lightsaber still inside without it actually falling out and no longer needing the actual clap pieces to actually keep it in place. So that's cool that they actually found a way to manage that. From what I've seen, it's just a flicker of a wrist and then it just activates. So that's pretty cool for what it is. Uh, I definitely think this is a really nice lightsaber and... I'm happy to have this in my collection. Now, I might actually get more lightsabers in the future, but for now, this is it for the Luke Skywalker version of the electronic lightsaber during The Force Awakens. So anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hirotaku in the Gideon blog for all your latest in Star Wars news and more. Also, check me on Twitter under DarkOn633. Please check down the other channels below, including the WW Podcast and the various other friends' channels, and I'll be bringing more Star Wars reviews in the future, but for now, I'll see you on YouTube. Bye.